Now we will change some values of the container and put our downloaded JPEG image in header division. Go to CSS styles and expand that. Look the line containing last word container. Don't worry about other words with that as you may have some other version. Double click that container. A new window of the container will open. From drop down menu click background. Look background color box. Click that box and select any color. I selected brown color. This brown color comes in that background color box. From drop down menu now select box. We will make changes in width, height, margin top, margin bottom. Please select the units of margins as pixel whose abbreviation is PX. So we enter the values as width equal to 950 pixel, height equal to 600 pixel, margin top equal to 20 pixel and margin bottom 20 pixel. So we change or put the values of only 4 items which are width, height, margin top and margin bottom. Same changes we can see or can make in the properties drop down menu. Now from file drop down menu make save all. Then preview in your default browser. We see in the web page the values given to brown colored container. From CSS styles we click header. In its drop-down properties, we will replace the value of padding. We will put the value of padding equal to 0. Under Files in your Skills folder, look header.jpg file. Source code can be looked in two ways. Either clicking split from the menu bar or click code to look whole page of source code. In header division you are looking the word header delete that including start and end of h1. Be careful not to touch or delete start and end of this header division. Drag from files the header jpeg image to the empty space between header division in source code. You can drag the object by constant click along with moving. A new window will open. From keyboard write the word header in the box of alternate text. You see that in the division of header the image source specifications will come out. Also you may see in the split source code. Top left on the bar from file drop down menu make save all. Then preview in your computer's default browser. We got it. In our web page, the desired result of replacing the header with our own image. You finished part D. Now it's time to revise all the steps by your own.